Hello, gentle viewers, and welcome to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19 as the Philadelphia Phillies. We just wrapped up the 1972 season, and it went about as bad as it could have. We didn't bottom out, but we didn't make the playoffs either, and we're not really going to be in a position to make the playoffs next year either without a little bit of help. So the very first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be signing... Um, some personnel. I need a bench coach. And my thinking for bench coaches is almost always what matters most is someone that gets along well with your team. Most of these guys will actually be gone from the team. So we're going to go ahead and give Andy Larkin a job. For a couple of years. And then most importantly, we need a pitching coach. And this is why I really hope we can find someone really solid. Um, I think we'll just hire Jim Hodges. There we go. We will immediately set our scouting budget, which we didn't have last year. And we'll set it at the league baseline. And we're definitely going to cut back on the majors scouting. Because we generally already know what we have. And we're going to pour into amateur scouting uh, instead. Maybe actually cut this a little bit more. So we can put a little extra into international. <clears throat> right. And then we also need a pitching coach for single A Carolina. Wait, why didn't this show me all of these options before? Hmm. I think we'll hire Bill Dunn. He can have a one year deal. Okay. Next step is our salary arbitration. And we've got a whole host of decisions we need to make here. Actually, you know, before we do anything else, let's look at the team. Someone made a great request in one of the comments asking for us to talk a little bit about what happened the previous year. So we went 83 and 79, and let's see who did well. Mike Schmidt um, had kind of a rough beginning, but uh, developed very, very well over the course of the season. Uh, hitting only 227, but drawing lots of walks, hitting for power. And playing pretty darn good third base. Uh, Schmidt also stole seven bases and was only caught once. So from a rookie season, you can't ask for a whole lot more than that. And I hope that he'll get some consideration for Rookie of the Year. Next, we have Terry Harmon. Um, Harmon led the league in at-bats and played an okay season. He didn't hit that well, but he did play pretty strong second base. <clears throat> Greg Luzinski put together a decent uh, season, although, again, there's a lot of room to improve with him. Um, but we do expect his discipline will get better. And he handled left field. He could have been better. Uh, then we get to Willie Montañez, our center fielder who hit really badly and played bad center field. So literally, it's the position uh, adjustment. And then there's a couple of other players who weren't as impressive. Um, Rogodzinski was awful. He cost us about two wins just because he was terrible at virtually everything. Um, he didn't hit. And he was terrible at every offense defensive position we put him at. So he's got himself a while before he will be a truly exceptional player. So that didn't go so well. There's a lot of room to improve, though. And I'm curious to see what happens next season. Uh, Pitching-wise. Steve Carlton was absolutely brilliant. I mean, 19 and 12... Led the league in innings pitched, led the league in games started, led the league in strikeouts, led the league in war. 
you can't ask for more out of a pitcher than that. Bill Champion had a very fine season as well. Twitchell did a great job as a reliever. And then we had varying levels of kind of meh. Uh, Bill Champion um, has probably earned himself a new contract. So, let's start with Bill Champion, who had a really good season. Um... Oh, I see. They'll basically just uh, they'll basically be offered arbitration, which they can accept or not. Oh, this is the old FA types, right? If it's an A, you get it in the supplemental round and the first round pick of the person who signs. If it's type B, then you just get the first round. Okay. Anyone here worth keeping? Not really. So let's go through these numbers here. A Bill of Champion will probably never be this good again. But we're also not terribly well set on pitchers. So I will actually go ahead and offer him actually a bit more. There we go. Barry Lursch did okay yeoman's work. Bucky Brandon was kind of terrible. So we're going to go ahead we're going to non-tender him. I'm definitely not non-tendering Sulda. He was one of the worst players we had. And Bill Wilson, too. We're really going to overhaul our bullpen this offseason. Twitchell, I would actually like to see if he wants to sign a longer-term deal. Because he did a very, very good job for us. Would you take a four-year deal? You would. So I will, without any hesitation, hire him back. We might even make him a starter, um, but I think he's actually just a better fit right now as a reliever. Um, Bob Spence was mediocre. We might non-tender him. We're going to make a huge overhaul. That's going to be our, our, our focus this offseason. Terry Harmon. Can't hit at all. He's only asking for a fairly minor. I don't have an easy replacement for Harmon, so I'm going to go ahead and I basically just offer him 180. He'll probably get whatever he's asking for, but that's fine. <sighs> Larry Bowe's a really good shortstop. So good that even when he hits like crap, he still actually plays fairly well. So I think we will go ahead and leave him as is. Greg Lazinski. Is he a Super 2? How is he already? Oh, I guess he's already had three years in the majors. Okay. Lazinski, I wouldn't mind locking up for a bit longer. Would you take a four-year deal? No. You actually want a bit more. Okay. Um, I will ignore you then. That's fine for James. Montanez, we gotta do better than that. I'm not gonna overpay him for that. And then Oscar Gamble. Um, he's got some potential left in him. To be a very good all-around outfielder. So I will go ahead and let him have his, uh, his arbitration on. Um, and then we'll offer arbitration both Darren Johnson and Tim McCarver. But I won't bother doing it for the other two. Woody Fryman was actually pretty okay. I want two team option years. And let me make that extremely clear to you. I need team option years. To even think about signing you. No, I said 50000 Not 500 50 This is A, because he's popular, but more importantly, <clears throat> it gives us stability, and we don't have a very deep rotation. Uh, anyone here interesting? Gene Garber, I will put him on the 40, man, because I don't want to lose him when he's really good at um, us sucking up innings. Tom Hutton... 
He's got an eye and good defense. It's not really enough to get it done. Everyone else can take a walk. Let's sim up to the salary arbitration hearings. Fans are pretty happy that we re-signed Twitchell. Excellent. A trade proposal. <clears throat> you would send me a pretty okay first baseman for Bill Champion. Uh, uh, Andrews is a pretty good... Oh, look at that error. Andrews is definitely flawed. Flawed enough, especially since I do want a new first baseman. Especially one who's really good at taking walks. I'm going to drop champion. And you won't do it if champion's not part of it. I'm not trading champion. <clears throat> you got Rookie of the Year. Nice work. Uh, Wayne Twitchell finished third. Very nice. We got our pitching coach. Nice work for Mike Schmidt. Well, Ron Say got a few votes, as did Rick Ruschel. But it's hard to argue with Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt was what we wanted from this season. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I've actually had a Cy Young before. That's why it's not showing the Cy Young Award achievement. It better That better be why. I swear to God, if you give it to Tom frickin' Seaver... Or Don Sutton, neither of whom made the playoffs. I would be furious. But I'm pretty sure that's exactly what you jackasses did. I think you gave it to one of them. Okay, Steve Carlton was the best pitcher in freaking Major League Baseball by a pretty substantial margin. Don Sutton was good. But he wasn't Steve freaking Carlton. This is highway robbery. And the Dodgers were even worse than the, than the Phillies were. So yeah, I want all 18 of you that voted for Sutton to think about what you've done. Because he played, Steve Carlton pitched out of his bloody mind. All right. I think I won every single arbitration hearing. Which is nice. Free agency filing. Uh, McCarver and Johnson both filed for free agency. I am happy to let one or both of them be signed by another team. So how much cash do I have to spend? I have about a million bucks for free agents. So I've got quite the purse available to me. You'll be back by spring training. And you won't cost me anything if I sign you. No, I'm going to start with a new center fielder. And Bobby Tolan looks like a wonderful choice. He's got speed. He's got contact. He's got great defense. I want Bobby Dolan on my team. I want him right now. No player opt-out. Mm-mm. I want you signing for four years. Okay. Do it. We could sign Hank Aaron at the end of his career. Um, he wouldn't be the worst choice for someone to play first base for a year. Let's offer Hank Aaron one year. Ah, uh, I can't give you four years, mate. You're a good hitter now, but you won't always be a good hitter. I could get Nolan Ryan. Yes.
Yes. Ask for a response. Right, that's two big time free agents that we'll be signing. Another mur another murder cost us a draft pick, which is really important to me. As for the rest of these guys, I think I'm okay for now. Gaylord Perry's awfully tempting, but I think we'll let him go too. I'm not going to crack open the checkbook for a Bobby Mercer or a Joe Morgan. No matter how useful they might be. Did he win the MVP this year? No. Joe Morgan is really good, actually. Is he good enough to lose a first-round draft pick? Let's see how Ryan and Tolan respond. And then we'll make decisions from there. Oh, right. People need to be activated, don't they? That's instant legitimacy. A trade proposal. You'll give us Paul Blair for, again, champion. Paul Blair is very good defensively. I'm going to drop champion. I'm going to let you think about this. Because I don't need Fred Andrews and Paul Blair is, if nothing else, a fairly, uh, mm, no. No, no, no. Not taking it. Not until I see how much money I spend on Nolan Ryan and the center fielder. Damn, Mercer signed with New York quickly. Uh, Tolan wants more money. It's such a short deal. Yeah, you can have it. I'm going to give you a much bigger bonus. I'm actually going to give you 50 grand if you hit the, the performance threshold there. Bob Bial has a really good eye. Like, an amazing eye. <clears throat> That's got a lot of value. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't actually object to having him play first base next season for us. Let's do some Hall of Fame voting. Johnny Antonelli, no. Bobby Avila, no. No, no. Definitely no. Yogi Berra, yes. Ray Boone, no, no, no. Um, Whitey Ford, yes. There's actually been a really weak Hall of Fame class for pitchers. I'm going to have to drop my standards a bit for pitching. Nelly Fox, hmm. Compared to second baseman, he's not that great. Let's see who else there is. We might come back to him. Gil Hodges, no. For only 1,900 hits, I don't see him getting in. Uh, Sandy Koufax, yes. Harvey Keen, no, no, no. Mm -mm. I'm seeing a lot of people I would not vote in. Pee Wee Reese wouldn't really cheapen the shortstop Hall of Fame standards. I'd vote for him. And I'll toss in a vote for Robin Roberts, too. Red Shone Deist, eh. Kurt Simmons, eh. You know Slaughter, eh. Duke Snyder, yeah. Okay. And I think, um, I, uh, and I gotta be early win. Not only do we win 300 games, you also do a shit ton of innings. So yeah, those will, that'll be my ballot. Let's go up to the 
draft. <sighs> Frickin' Nolan Ryan. Mate. I'll give you a five-year deal if you take my deal. I want to pair you with Steve Carlton and be amazing. No. Would you guys just sign with me already? Okay. So I'm going to get a supplemental pick. LA's offered him a ton of money, too. But I can't not sign him. He's too good at too important a position. Oh, for... F f f really? I'll give you a six-year deal. Just take the damn offer. Quit using me as a way to get leverage from other freaking people. You dick. No. You're playing for me. Deal with it. Take it. I'm not going to be able, like, if they keep, if the Dodgers just keep offering, there's no way I'm going to be able to compete with them. Because the Dodgers just have that much more money than I do. Oh, for, no, you are not getting fair market value. You're basically, they're basically backing up a dump truck full of money to you. I'm running out of money for free agents, but I don't care. Young players like this will totally transform our team, and then I can go dumpster diving for relievers. <clears throat> Dave Winfield is and Robin Yount are the two best players in this particular class. Um, and we have, like, an awful draft pick. We're 14th out of 24. There aren't 14 good players in this draft. Here we go. Default potential. There's no way I get any of these top guys. We'd get, we'd get damn lucky to get, like, Eddie Murphy. We'd be damn lucky if we got him. But let's see who's left. I could get Dave Winfield. Winfield is a really good... Oh, yeah. Winfield is a really good player. The problem is, is Dave Winfield just so happens to play the one position I'm the strongest at, which is outfield. And Winfield's kind of a bad center fielder. I'd take a shot at him there. Rupert Jones, maybe? We think he's going to basically get amazing discipline. So he'll basically draw a bunch of walks and stuff. He doesn't want very much money. But he's not that great a center fielder. Brandy Bash will hit for power and he will draw walks, but he probably won't hit for contact. Um, it's going to be Stearns, I think. Because Stearns is going to be a fantastic hitter who happens to play catcher. Yeah, I'm going to take John Stearns. I'm going to draft him, and then we'll see. I don't think Dave Winfield will fall to the second round. I was hoping he might. Uh, 
William Byrd is a terrible hitter. Al Woods will be a good hitter. I will take him. You really need pitching, though. We got Mike Parrott. Is, looks like he's clearly the king of the class right now. Good stuff. Could develop good control. But I'll take him. Because we do need pitching help. Let's take Gordy Platson because reasons. I'm not going to bother drafting a third baseman. Daniel Daniel. Good discipline and power, but that's about it. That's still interesting enough that I'll take a shot at him with the fourth round draft pick. I'm going to go ahead and let's take a quick look at the batting potential. Any good contact hitters left? Daryl Parker. Potentially. The best all-around hitter is actually Richard Meltz. So we're going to go ahead and draft him. Auto-draft until next pick. Daryl Parker, sure. Auto-draft. And I think at this point, Gary Blaylock, I think, is a good choice. And then we'll go and just send the rest of the draft. Because we got what we we got some good talent in this team. In this draft. This was a good draft for us, I think. A catcher of John Stern's ability. In real life, how did he do? Looks like in real life he never really just he just never got a chance. Yeah, I'm very eager to see what he can do on a baseball field. And how much am I supposed to have for contracts? Not a lot, but some. I think that also includes oh, the contract offers to um, Ryan and the center fielder. Which now I've already forgotten. So, uh, passing on Dave Winfield might seem strange, but outfield was our, our, is our core strength. And I just didn't see the need to draft a player of that quality when we really needed catching help. A personal message. Literally, I think the only, per only two teams that are bidding for Nolan Ryan are me and the Dodgers. I want the center fielder more than I want Ryan. I'd like to make that extremely clear. I am Philadelphia. Oh. Okay. Jim Fregosi for Bob Boone. No, Jim Fregosi's a terrible first baseman. Let's go to the Rule 5 draft. Okay, so this isn't a, a fantastic year for Rule 5 players. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I never even took a moment to look through my players. Oh, I was counting on Bob Boone starting this year. Shit. Is anyone else eligible? Oh, wow. That was beyond stupid on my part. The rest of you are probably trying to remind me. You're probably saying, of India, no. You just let two of your very best players go. Shit. Um, you're a decent reliever. I can take a... So who do I actually have in the current bullpen? I have three pitchers. Yeah, as sad as this sounds, he would be an upgrade. So I'll go ahead and take him. 
Monty Montgomery is a borderline star, but I will take you. Draft player. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. I feel like such an idiot. I lost Bob Boone. I don't care about losing John Vukovic. He wasn't that great. But losing Bob Boone. Oh, wow. Now that he's not on my team anymore, he doesn't look that good, does he? He's a really good catcher, though. Ah, uh, I'm angry at myself now. I don't think Chuck Niffin was anything great. Nah. I'm not upset that I lost them. I'm upset that I let myself lose them. Instead of thinking about maybe acquiring somebody. Okay, seriously, Tolan? Freaking sign my bloody deal. And stop talking to other teams. Just stop. You're getting real irritating with me, Tolan. Okay, Dodgers, take your freaking money and go to hell. Stop trying to buy people out from under me. Because I'm getting real sick of it. Especially Dodgers can buy whoever they want to because they're the freaking Dodgers. Trade proposal. What do you offer me? Jim Fragosi and a pitcher who has no future. No. I just want people to make decisions. Okay, Nolan Ryan signed with me. And the fans are pretty pumped about that. As am I. The next thing I want to do... How much do I have left for free agents? Uh, let's see if the center fielder signs. Because I'm happy to wait till the last possible minute to start signing relievers. There we go. Bobby Tolan is a member of the Philadelphia Phillies. And that was a long negotiation. And he got every penny he could out of me. Now how much cash do I have left? I've got about a hundred grand. That's fine. Let's check the waiver wire. Yeah, there's nothing there. I like a waiver wire alert. That would be really handy. Um, so let's focus immediately on relief pitchers. Ideally under a hundred grand, but I would pay a hundred grand for the right reliever. Tug McGraw. Jim Brewer would be a very good addition. And he would eat up most of the rest of my budget. Eh. I'd rather take a chance on Tug McGraw because he's younger. I will offer you a four-year deal if you'll take it. And then I'll offer John Hiller a two-year, uh, a three-year deal with a couple of team options. Cause I'm not I'm not getting a one year rental if I don't get to actually ever use him. There we go. Some nice relief offers. Bill Negro to Detroit. Okay. We're not gonna get any compensation picks. That's fine. Kofax and Whitey Ford were both inducted. Very nice. A bunch of people dropped off. It's going to take a while for some of these people to make it. And we'll sim up to the preseason. We also need to look at our miners and see if there's anyone we can continue upgrading. Okay, and we pick up a couple of helpful relievers. That'll help our bullpen, which was also a weakness for us last season. Okay, now let's look at the miners. 
Al Woods is already kind of sort of ready for the majors. But I'm not going to rush him. Not when I have a pretty strong outfield right now. Let's him up to spring training. And what I'll do is I'll make a couple of spring training invites and then maybe make some additional decisions about who I'd like to play. Uh, who'd he sign with? Detroit. Okay. I got a better starting center fielder. So I'm fine with that. I'm a bit worried we overpaid for Nolan Ryan. But A, he was one of my favorite players as a kid. And B, he gives us a one-two punch, which we didn't have last season. He's a much better bet to continue to build on his talents than, say, another pitcher. Although we won't actually have him to begin the season. Or Fryman. I should have gotten more starters. Oh, dear. I'm not going to throw John Stearns in the deep end. I'd like him to get a year at AAA. But it's either that, or do I just literally take him right to the majors? That's the interesting problem with him, is that, so the skills that he's going to develop are skills he can develop in the majors just as well. And I don't have a good starting catcher, so I think actually I will go ahead and call up Stearns. He'll just, it's just a spring training invite for now, but it might be more. Uh, Mike Parrott is a starter. Stop trying to make him a reliever. I want him to be a starter. He's more valuable to the team as even a mediocre starter. Okay. Other players worth giving a shot to. Christensen, maybe. His control's not great. But we can at least let him develop in the minor league, in the major league camp. We'll do that with you. And with you. And I never got a first baseman, did I? Bob Beal, though, might be that first baseman. I know he, he's not a traditional first baseman. But I like the fact that he draws lots and lots of walks and still hits for decent contact. I'd be willing to give him a shot. Um, Do I have any other money for free? I got a lot of money for free agents. Okay. Can we bring in another starter? That's my question. Fred Norman. Welcome. Uh, yes. Absolutely done. And we do need a first baseman. But no one here really strikes me as that useful. I'm going to go ahead and offer you a minor league deal, and I'll do the same with McAuliffe. I could still get Jim Brewer. Yeah, done. And then go ahead and build us our team. What's it? Ask AI. Did I never get a bench coach? I never got a bench coach. Whoopsie. Ah, oh, manager. Man, I am letting a lot of stuff flip through my fingers. You know what we might do? We might look through our minor leagues. No. Really no one I can promote? I thought someone signed my deal. Alan Abbott. Everyone on the team would hate you. Jim Adjutant. Everyone on the team would like you, but you wouldn't be as good at developing pitchers. I'll settle for that. All right, and then I need to set my pitching staff up for spring training. Mm. 
Oh, you're actually going to make Twitchell a starter this year? I'd be willing to see how that works. How would, What are you rated as a starter? You're a little bit worse, but I do need starting pitching help quite badly. Let's go ahead and sim up to the next month. We're just going to sim up to opening day, and then we will end the episode. Nope, I'm not offering you anything more than a minor league deal, so deal with it. We got our bench coach, finally. Now, we've definitely built for the future in the sense that some of the players that we've got are actually going to be spending the year on the disabled list. Um, let's just start putting people there now. Nolan Ryan. Gamble is fine where he is. I'm not going to sweat him too much. Why aren't they signing? Okay, so Fred Norman, you are going straight to the majors, my friend. Oh, Jim Brewer signed with the Twins. Stupid Brewer. You're a jerk. Anyone get better? Twitchell got a little better. Ryan got a little worse. Garber got a little better. John Stearns got a lot better. Like, a lot, a lot better. To the point, I think he's, he's my opening day catcher. Uh, Bob Beal, I think, will serve acceptably as a first baseman. Yeah, that worked out quite well, I think. Right, so it's been... An interesting offseason. We've acquired two key players who will be a part of this team's future. One who's going to be a part of this team's present, namely Bobby Tolan. In the next episode, we're going to take some time. We're going to set up our roster, and then we're going to play through the 1973 season. I hope you'll join me for that episode. Until now, uh, that's been it for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, please remember to like and subscribe, maybe send a comment, but until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.